Oh, hey, how you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are doing fantastic. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. Hopefully you guys are staying blessed, staying alert and all that jazz. Staying hydrated, getting noms, having good sleeps, having good dreams. I'm watching you. Yeah, you back there. Are you? Anyways, guys. Hello. Hi, I'm Thy Fuzzy. Today we are going to be making bread. <laughs> Something really basic, very simple, but I've been thinking about this. I feel like I wanna do like a bread journey kind of video thing. So I think I'm gonna start like making like a bread diary. Like this is not like my first time making bread. Like I've made bread before. It's just, I wanna be better at making bread. Uh, my bread making skills aren't great. They definitely have gotten better over the years, but I just wanna be able to make bread from like the back of my hand, you know? Like I don't have to worry about too much and worry about if it's gonna proof and rise, if it's gonna turn out and everything. So. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with this journey, question mark, I think. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I decided we're making a bread diary, guys. I don't know, I feel like I'm an old lady. It's okay, <laughs> it's okay, I'm an old lady at heart. Before we do this process, we gotta get medicated. So let's, let's get medicated. You know, you know how it goes, guys? Cheers, let's get it. If you're ever curious on what we're medicating on, I always put it down below in the description, guys. And also, let me know what you guys are medicating on if you're medicating along. That rhymed! Thank you, I know. I just came up with that out of nowhere. So smart. Also, if you guys have any pointers or tips, let me know down below. I always appreciate the help. I always appreciate the help. If you get... <laughs> if you guys ever <coughs> if you guys ever want to see me get medicated but like the uncensored version go follow me on twitch i stream every monday wednesday friday uh, the times vary but i always update my twitch schedule too if you guys are ever interested in watching me like sussy sussy sus you guys ever want to sesh up with me <laughs> and watch me play video games and chit chat and everything go give me a follow over on there and same thing with all my other socials ig tiktok twitter all that jazz all the links, all the links are down below, guys. I would super duper appreciate if you guys go give me a follow on there. If you guys are medicating a log, drop the video a thumbs up. Couple more, couple more medications, couple more medications here, and then we're, we're gonna get to it. <coughs> she do be smacking. She do be smacking. All right, guys. I think we're medicated enough, so let's let's take this journey together. Let's take the journey together. It's okay if it doesn't turn out right. It is what it is. It's a learning process. It's a learning process. All right, guys. Let's take this crazy party downstairs into the kitchen. Well, let's go. While you're doing all this, make sure you actually have your oven preheating at 170 Fahrenheit. And when that's done preheating, shut it off. So when you're ready to proof your dough, you throw your dough in there and it will help speed up your proofing process by two times. Jellyfish. Now get yourself a medium bowl here and roughly four to five cups of flour. I chose four cups for this go around and get your all-purpose flour or bread flour or whole wheat flour, whatever you're using. Throw that into your bowl. Two teaspoons here. Mm, yes, two. Of salt. Throw that in. A tablespoon and a half of instant quick rising yeast. That's what I'm using today. Throw that in. Now mix everything together to make sure everything is evenly combined in with the flour and there's nothing that's lumpy and clumpy. Set it aside, get a larger bowl here. Now get one cup of hot water and one cup of cold water and throw that into the bowl. Now get one quarter cup of just plain white sugar, granulated sugar, throw that into the bowl. Now get two tablespoons here of vegetable oil. Oh, apparently I put a little bit more in. I think a half a tablespoon. Now whiskey whisk. Make sure all that sugar sugar is dissolved. Now throw these 
amazing trusty gloves on so we don't get our little nail polish all up in the bread. Now take the flour, throw it into the water mixture, but slowly, like at one cup at a time. And now you're gonna wanna mix it and scrape all the sides. Take your time and make sure everything's mixed. There's no lumps and clumps add a little bit more flour. You'll see that everything's going to start like kind of pulling away from the bowl and becoming kind of icky and gooey and ooey, which is fine. That's why we have the gloves on too, to actually help it not be on our hands. Now this is going to be a little bit of ASMR bread dough folding sounds thing. I don't know. We're going to keep adding the flour in. This is where it starts getting a little bit more tougher. You're going to just want to kind of keep scraping the bowls side. We don't want to leave any of that flour behind. And you're going to see it st slowly start pulling away from the bowl, which is what you want. Just keep kneading it into itself. Keep rotating the bowl and kneading it into itself and rotating it. And you can see it's starting to get kind of forming into a ball. We're throwing the last little bit of our flour in. And yes, this is what we want. Keep rolling it into yourself. It's a very long process making flour, I will say. It's not hard, it's just very time consuming. And I noticed here I need a little bit more flour and we're gonna put some vegetable oil on our hands to help at this point, the flour mixture to stop sticking to our hands and gloves because we're getting to the point of where we want it and we don't wanna add too much more flour or else our dough is going to become too dry and fall apart. But once you kinda of get and feel the texture that you want, you basically wanna be kneading that dough for about five to eight minutes. And now you're gonna to wanna to get a different bowl here and make sure you grease it very well because while the dough is rising in it, we don't want it to stick to the bowl as much. The dough is going to stick to the bowl regardless. We're just trying to prevent as much sticking as possible. Grease all your hands up, gloves up, and now we're gonna wanna take that dough that we needed, get it into a ball, get it like formed into a ball. We're gonna wanna basically fold it into itself. You're gonna see me kind of continuously folding it into itself for a while here here until it gets to the basically the ball and the form I want and also trying to get majority of those air bubbles out as well. Plop it on in. Give it a little love tap. Wish it good luck. And now we're gonna want to oil the top here. Take your hands or a brush or whatever you have and make sure you coat the top with some oil. Not too much but not too little. A nice happy medium. Now take your cling wrap, cling wrap, <laughs> and surround wrap the top of your bowl. Throw a tea towel on it and throw it in your oven that has been heating up at 170 for 30 minutes to an hour. One hour later. <sighs> Look at that. It like tripled in size. That's kind of crazy. Now get your nine by five loaf pans here and grease them up to make sure your bread does not stick to any of it while it's proofing and cooking. Grease your hands up and your surface so the dough does not stick to that as well because we're gonna punch the dough and then we're going to knead it into our loaves that we need. Don't worry if your first loaves don't come out properly because this is trial and error, baby. Trial and error. Kind of fold it into itself a little bit here. You're doing this because you're trying to push out all the air bubbles. So we're preventing like those air bubbles to form while it's cooking and proofing. Cut two even halves now. Look at that. Oh, it looks so airy and fluffy. Now we want to kind of roll it into itself into kind of a log shape. And then we're going to plop it into our bread pans. But you're going to do it for a while because we want to make sure we're we're getting the log shape that we want. And when you fold it into yourself, that helps the bread to form like, like a solid inside, if that makes sense. Helps prevent like air bubbles and everything. So you don't have like air pockets and whatnot in your bread. Oh, roll it, girl. This is going to be our like bread journey, so it's going to be a lot of trial and errors and everything. So don't worry about things not turning out properly. We're going to oil these bad boys up a little bit here so they don't stick to our saran wrap that we're going to put on the top. And then once you're done saran wrapping your tin pans, we're going to throw them into the oven again to proof for about an hour. One hour later. Would you look at that? Be gentle because you do not want your bread to flop here and throw it in the oven for 30 to 33 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. 
one eternity later. Oh my God. Oh, would you look at that? And now you're going to want to take your margarine or butter and your little brush here, and you're going to want to brush the top of all your bread because we make a butter crust baby. Now we have to let it cool for about 15, 20 minutes before we take them out of our bread pans because we don't want them to be sweating in there too bad or else your bread's going to get soggy, soggy, soggy. 20 minutes later. And now a struggle fest of me trying to get my bread out of the pan. I don't know why it's stuck. Maybe I didn't oil it enough, but I don't know. Ooh, look at that. Oh, 10 out of 10. It smelled so good and everything. Oh, mm 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 just look at that. Mm. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> we have to wait now for it to cool down before we can cut into it, because it's too warm. More waiting. A few moments later. I sh probably should have waited a little bit longer because we're struggling here again. You can tell it's not quite cooled down enough, but that's okay. That's totally fine because it still turned out great. Once it is completely cooled down to room temperature, you can leave it out on the counter for up to three to four days or throw it in the fridge and it will last up to five to six days in the fridge. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. The bread tasted phenomenal. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video and everything. It was, there was a lot of kneading. There was a lot of folding in the bread and everything. Hopefully you guys understood my instructions and all that jazz. I will leave like the link of the like recipe I kind of use down below in the description as well. And I'll leave the ingredients and everything down below like I already. Or <laughs> like I always do. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, drop it a thumbs up. I would super duper appreciate it and everything. Yeah, guys, if you if you guys made it till the end of the video, if you guys made it till this far, let's comment, let's comment Hydro Gang. Let's comment Hydro Gang, guys, because you always got to stay hydrated, always. Anyways, guys, this video has been long enough and everything. I love your faces. And until next time, guys, stay lit and stay blessed. Bye.